Yeah, when you're sitting in this one, the, the other one looks tiny. Uh, morning folks, uh, welcome to the Hop On Hop Off Explorer bus. Um, as you may know, uh, you can just get on and off this bus at any of the stops on the map and there will uh, be another bus too far away, you see about 30 minutes, so there's uh, three buses circling around the island at the moment at various, uh, various points, so um, glad you uh, I left that bad weather behind and now uh, now we're on island time and uh, the sun's out. A little breezy but uh, the sun is out. Oh. <laughs> the branches. The branches. So we we're just uh, trundling up the, the hill here to the first stop, which is uh, the City Works uh, Gallery and the Republic Library. But for the ice cream lovers out there, uh, the Island Gelato Company is uh, just across the road. So um, if you're already getting a bit hangry for an ice cream um, you can jump off uh, at the first stop also uh, there's a very very good french eatery called frenchies uh, if you want something more substantial than an ice cream so that's uh, stop one on your on your map the uh, library and the, uh, the second stop is literally just around the corner uh, from the first one. And so we're in the only Royal village. So there's the main area where all the, uh, the cafes are. Uh, 
Uh, so on the left hand side there's uh, say a few uh, a few more bars and eateries down some steps which we are uh, approaching just past the paper plus. But you can get a number of ways to uh, get down to the beach and the first one is in this driveway on the left here but there's some steps just down uh, between the paper plus store and the four square where you can um, walk down to the, to the only road beach. The next stop uh, is, is coming up just uh, past Four Square. This would be the main Onira village stop. So you can just walk back up to uh, to this area, 50 metres up to the fishing The wire kitchen is bumping today on the left. We got Italian on the right, Cafe Finice. Uh, the Oyster Inn upstairs, not open yet. Uh, more of a dinner menu. <coughs> Surf shop on the right if you want to uh, get yourself a nice wanky hat and some thongs. So the second stop is coming up here on the left, we call it the uh, Red Cross stop. Point. 
Tao Beach. Two shops here, basic uh, shops. The on the right towards the middle. Yeah, this is awesome. Irish pub on the right. Uh, the sports ground here on the left uh, hosts the 
rugby league team, baseball team, netball team. Bit of boat building on the right, more boat repair. And uh, we're just entering Ostend, um, named after a famous Belgian town. So we are stopping at Ostend here and we have, it's kind of like uh, the commercial hub, if you want to call it that. We've got the Countdown Supermarket here, a few other cafes, coffee shops. Also, where the bus depot is, a large placemaker store. Apparently the second largest store in New Zealand, he's told the other day. Ostend also houses the uh, Saturday morning market. Sorry, you missed that yesterday. It was a great day. I attended and had my Argentinian steak sandwich. Um, so that is normally held just over on the right uh, where the RSA is, just beyond the trees. That's the, the RSA. So uh, open the door if anyone wants to jump here. <laughs> Services, Stony Ridge Winery, and Tamotas. Uh, if you get stop five on your brochure, all wetland on the right. Plenty of puke coming there. The refuse uh, transfer station on the left. Uh, all the rubbish on the island is barged back. To Auckland. So, in case you know, all, all the res residential areas uh, run on tank water and uh, have sewage systems. Uh, no, no main water supply, no sewage system. Over to the right is the start of the uh, Rocky Bay area. Um, we head over that way on sort of a return trip from Onatini and, and head up to the Batch Winery, which is in the White Rocky Bay area, so that's over to the right. But for now, we're just carrying on down the, the Onatini Strait where we um, hit the maximum speed uh, on an island of 60 kilometres an hour. Unfortunately, we had too, too many stops to get the system back. Yeah, I probably could do it if I, if I was bribed, you know. Um, so you're just coming up on the left. Pretty shortly around this uh, right-hand corner is uh, the stop for Wild, Awaiki, Tamotu, Sunny Ridge. Stop which. Uh, Services is a brand new brewery and restaurant operation called Hickey. Uh, there's a lager being produced by them called Hickey Lager, but they now branched out into food. And uh, you see on the left, I'm just not sure in the hours. I'm going to look up there and see if they are open. Not yet, I look at it. Certainly, you will be open. Usually, uh, opens around 
mid-afternoon and runs till 7 or 8 p.m. All right, so uh, we're sort of at the tail end of the uh, Otangi Strait. On the right, this is the golf course. And uh, now we're heading into the main Otangi area and the beach. And we're going to be stopping at the, one of the local icons, the Charlie Valleys, or, or the Charlies for short. And we're right across the road from the beach. So I would rank I would rank Aonatangi right up there in the in the most picturesque beaches in the world. Uh, so one of the beauties is of the of it is it's two kilometres long, so it sort of never gets too busy. You can always find a spot. Um, so we'll be stopping outside Charlie Farley's. And uh, another very good eatery, coffees, etc. Um, two other restaurants uh, next door to Charlie's. Uh, one's called 372, and the other one has uh, been open about 18 months, called Kimaha. We're just running, rolling down the, the hill to the beach now. Come and come into view just as we get around this left hand corner. Uh, straight ahead folks, just a short walk down the stairs and they're there. going past those uh, other stops in the museum and Wild and Waiheke again before we head up to the batch winery. Yeah, 
it's a very steep site and uh, They will have great views over over in on Team Beach and across to Coromandel. Oh. approaching uh, the next stop outside uh, the golf course and museum museum is open Again, outside uh, Wild State, Tamotu and Stony Ridge. is uh, Batch Winery, so we're just heading into the Rocky Bay area now and uh, climbing the highest altitude winery on the island and boasts awesome views of, of the island. Speedway, dirt speedway track, believe it or not. Not used regularly. So we're heading into the Whakaniwa Regional Park area. Passing Rangihau State on the right, which is uh, the largest olive producer and uh, winner of many uh, awards, and uh, I believe Jamie Oliver uses 
new product, Arangi Hanau Estate. has a bit of an eclectic uh, menu. Uh, one of the offerings is pavlova. Do a bit of barbecue food as well. Just for everyone a bit of taste of kiwi out of. Also, uh, they uh, make a very good range of fizzy wines, shall we call them. So, uh, at the Champenois, Rosés and so on.
Austin now we'll be stopping again in uh, Belgium Street, Austin next stop Belgium Street Austin.
Okay, well, we ended our bus tour. That was our bus right there. Very nice. We sat at the front of the double decker, the top level, right at the front. That was good.